All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we are gearing up for our test on Friday, we want to take a moment and go through our binder again and see what kind of fun new things we've added in our binder. We're going to skip forward all the way to page 23, where we should have our unit two teaks questions. Study for that for the test. These are all the questions that we've been covering this week, this uh, unit. Like, um, how is the geography of the colonial regions different? How is it similar? What are the differences between the New England middle and southern colonies? And so on and so forth. So those are the questions you should be able to answer. Page 24, you should have a timeline of the colonies when they were founded. Okay. Special emphasis on our hot dates. 1607, Jamestown. 1620, the Mayflower Compact was written in Massachusetts. And then Georgia, which is its last. This information is reflected on page 25 in our Founders chart. We have a map that looks at the different regions, Southern, Middle, and New England. You need to know New England, Middle, and Southern. And then has all the regions, why they were founded, who founded them, what year they were founded. And we have our important umbrella on the back, Pilgrim groups. The Puritans were in Massachusetts, Catholics in Maryland, Quakers in Pennsylvania. Page 26, you should find our colon. Remember, this was a visual way of dividing up information on the different colonies, things about New England, things about the middle colonies, things about the southern colonies. Page 27, we have more notes. Breaking up these colonial regions, the New England colonies, what's the geography like, what's the political development like, what's the economic development, and what's the social way of life along with all of the notes. On page 28, you should have your RA taped in so that it was graded and given back to us. Page 29, we have our fourth warm-up. How does geography affect economy? Again, about the geography and economy of the New England region, the uh, colonial regions, New England, Middle and Southern. We also have our blog post, which covers the same topic. Those should both be graded. And then we started talking about um, the influence of religion on politics, taking us into the Great Awakening and talking about this religious movement that had a political effect in the 1600s. 32 is blank right now. We'll tape something in on there tomorrow. 33 is our founding documents, early government chart. So we filled out information about the different founding document ideas that are going to be leading us towards the United States. And that is where we have left off.